Hey guys, welcome to the Wondershare Recovery YouTube channel where we supply you with a lot of practical data solutions. Today we're going to talk about BitLocker. How does it work? What does it do? How can we use it the best way? I'm pretty sure these are some of the questions you're asking yourself right now. In short, this is a security tool which lets you encrypt your personal data and protect them from unauthorized access. To get to know more about it in our 360-degree overview, keep watching this video until the end. And if you like the idea of watching more about practical data solutions, make sure to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Let's start the video with more information about what BitLocker actually is. It's also known as BitLocker Drive Encryption. This is a Windows encryption security feature which allows users to encrypt all the data on a drive and restrict that information from any unauthorized access. It means BitLocker can also protect your personal files from cyber theft. This security becomes more vulnerable when multiple users log into your system. When the data present in the drive is encrypted, only an encryption password or recovery key can unlock it. The new upgraded version of BitLocker supports the new generations of Windows, namely Windows 10 and 11, and also Windows Server 2016 and onwards, and is also compatible with the Education, the Pro and the Enterprise versions of the operating system. In order this to be utilized, there are certain criteria that a user must meet. You need Trusted Platform Module 1.2 or later. If TPM is not installed, you need a startup key stored on a USB drive. If TPM is installed, then a Trusted Computing Group compliant BIOS or UEFI is also needed to confirm a chain of trust for the pre-OS startup. There also is requirement for two more partitions of storage drives and the operating system must be installed on a drive formatted with NTFS file system. Most current laptops and computers easily meet these requirements. To your surprise, BitLocker is actually installed as part of your Windows, so the only thing you have to do is to run it. In order to do so, go to the Start menu, type BitLocker. You're going to see the Manage BitLocker option. Click Open it and after that you can see Turn on BitLocker written in the blue color under the operating system drive. When you turn BitLocker on, Windows starts the process of looking into the system settings. Here, you're going to need to create a passcode, which is important, because whenever you access your computer or drive, you need to submit that passcode. Then, select the Recovery Key settings. There's the need to backup your recovery key. For that purpose, you need to select Save to a file option and save the recovery key to a removable device. You can also use a flash drive in order to save it. Then, you're being asked about the grade of encryption. You can choose any of the available, from the disk space only or the entire drive options. And it will take some time if you select to encrypt the entire drive. Wait patiently until the end, because in the next step we can run BitLocker System Check. Then click the Continue button. At this point, restart your computer and BitLocker starts to encrypt the data that you have selected in the previous steps. Note that if you want to decrypt and turn off BitLocker, Type Manage BitLocker in the search bar and click on the Turn Off BitLocker option. By doing this, the process of decrypting data is going to start. Now that you've known how you can use BitLocker in detail step-by-step -step tutorial, it's time to jump to the topic how does BitLocker work. Basically, there are two operation modes, Drive Encryption and Device Encryption. The BitLocker Device Encryption works in default from all the home or pro computers. Today's available Windows devices support this feature. Here, BitLocker automatically creates a recovery key the first time you sign into Microsoft account and it attaches that recovery key to your account. On the other hand, the BitLocker Drive Encryption uses a trusted platform module a specialized chip, which is also termed as TPM, which is originally placed by the computer manufacturer in the hardware system. It stores encryption key especially for the system's hardware authentication. This TPM chip directly collaborates with BitLocker for your data protection. It allows you to encrypt single or multiple drives on a Windows computer manually. Other than that, BitLocker restricts the access to start up your computer until you enter a passcode or insert a USB drive with a particular key. In case you forget the passcode, you can use that USB drive for a recovery option. So that's everything about BitLocker. As you can see, it's a tiny bit of software with huge impact on preventing unauthorized access 
to your files. If you have some more tips and tricks about how it operates and more ideas on how to utilize it in a better way, you're always invited to comment down below the video. Thank you very much for watching this episode. As usual, for more practical data solutions and tutorials, be subscribed to our channel, hit the like if you enjoyed this video, and I'm Michael, look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye!